welcome. My name is Oscar. We run an ironing service in Melbourne. And today we are making our first ironing video. So I hope you enjoy it. For those of you who may not be familiar with this type of equipment, this is a steam iron. The steam iron consists of a number of components. You have the hot plate or the salt plate, a water tank, a steam dial, temperature dial, spray button and shot of steam button. This is the salt plate. The salt plate heats up to about 180 degrees Celsius. That's really hot. Be careful not to touch it with your hand or any part of your body while you are ironing. It can cause quite a severe burn. The salt plate is covered in holes. Different manufacturers have different designs. I prefer this sunbeam design. In my opinion, more holes mean a more even distribution of steam while you are ironing. Keep the water tank full. That allows all of the steam functions on your iron to work properly. Use the steam dial to set the volume of steam you want your iron to produce while you are ironing. A pre-dampened cotton fabric doesn't need any steam, so you would set it to dry. On the other hand, if you are ironing a knitted fabric, you probably want more steam. The temperature dial is connected to the thermostat and that controls how hot your iron runs. If you are not sure, check the care label of the garment you are about to iron and then set the dial accordingly. There are also two buttons. This is a spray button. It's designed to spray a little bit of water just ahead of your iron so that it's exactly where you need it as you iron. The other button is a shot of steam. The shot of steam delivers a shot of steam. And there you are, that's pretty much how an iron works. All I need to do now is find a nice shirt and show you how to use it. All right then. Let's see what's in our basket today. Oh look, a shirt, how convenient. Exactly the item I want to show you. Before you start, make sure your iron is plugged in and that your water tank is full. Check the label on the garment that you are about to iron and set your temperature dial accordingly. All right then, we start with the back of the collar. Iron from the outside in towards the center. And outside in towards the center. Check the front of the collar, that looks quite nice, so just touch it up lightly with a bit of steam. Fold the collar over, and gently steam it to give the collar a bit of definition. Next, we iron the yoke shoulder panel. You'll note I'm using my left hand to gently pull on the fabric as I iron and that helps to stretch the seams. We then move on to the left sleeve. Lay the sleeve down on your ironing table as flat as you can and we start with the cuffs. A 
again the same technique that you used on the collar iron from the outside in and from the outside in turn the cuff over and just flatten it nicely lay your sleeve down with the seam away from you again you can see where I, that I'm employing the same method of gently pulling onto the fabric especially when you are doing two layers of material this way you ensure that the bottom part that the bottom material gets pushed along with the iron without putting any creases in it just touch up that seam and all the way up to the very edge the crease should start at the edge but should not go over onto your shoulder panel same thing at the bottom of the cuff be accurate you don't want to iron over the cuff because it needs to be flat and round a little bit of steam back of the sleeve if you've done a good job on the first part of the sleeve the back of the sleeve is almost done just gently touch it up making sure that your crease is absolutely flat and sharp and that there's only one there <laughs> we move on to the right sleeve this time the seam is towards you open up the cuff and just like before iron from the outside in and from the outside in Touch it up so there are no creases in it at all and it's nice and flat. Now, accuracy is important. Again, I'm holding the cuff with my finger in between so that I can pull on both of the fabrics the bottom layer and the top layer at the same time you need to be accurate here as you can see right there you don't want to iron over the cuff itself because the cuff needs to stay flat and round back of the shirt uh, sorry back of the sleeve the sleeves already looking pretty good so really what we are doing now is we making sure that the crease is perfect and there should only be one can't have tram tracks on your shirt and it should be razor sharp can you see that yeah okay now we are exactly halfway through the shirt what we have left now are the three panels the front bodice, the back panel and the other front bodice now I prefer to start with the buttons you might want to start with the buttonholes either way is okay Here we are concerned about the seam and we want to get the seam nice and flat. You do that by holding the sleeve up just ever so lightly and ironing again towards where I'm slightly stretching the fabric. Moving on to the back panel. Bring the panel up so that your seam is close to the edge of the ironing board 
and your sleeve is hanging over the side. This way you make sure that you don't recrease the sleeve that you just ironed perfectly a little bit earlier. Move the panel along and this time iron all the way up to the shoulder and along the seam there. Move along. Again, making sure that your seams are nice and straight. Little water. I index it up without any problems. Again, you'll see now there's a label here with a button on it. If I iron over it, see the shine there somebody has already ironed over that so move the label out of the way and that way you can get a nice and perfect flat finish and to the final front panel again draw it Drag it up just to the edge of the table, holding the sleeve, iron towards it, and just to make sure that this panel comes out perfectly, give it a little bit of water. Shoulder seam. Down the panel. Oops, just put in a crease. A little bit of water and it's gone. Magic. And all we have now the front lacquer. And there we are. That's how you iron a shirt. All you need to do now is either put on a freshly ironed shirt or get a hanger, hang it up and put it into your wardrobe. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed that. The water tank. The water tank should be kept. If or whether your whether the the that one more time. You can set it on high.